Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the Maytag range gas stove top burner. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new gas stove top burner. The gas stove top burner comes with the igniter. It spreads the gas out so it burns evenly. The main reason you be changing it out is if it's damaged and the flames aren't burning evenly or the igniter has gone bad and you'd rather change out the whole assembly instead of just the igniter. There's four burners on the cooktop. They're all changed out the same way. In order to get access to it, we have to lift off the grate. Once you have the grate off, you can set it aside. Once you have the grate off, you want to make sure that you clean this area around the burner really well. You want to get all the grease out of there you can so the burner doesn't stick to the cooktop. You only have to turn these a little bit. You have to turn the igniter from where it is over to about 9 o'clock, but sometimes they're on there so tight that you can't get them off. They used to make a wrench, but they stopped making it. So if your burner's on there so tight, you may have to get a strap wrench like this and then go ahead and turn it so it comes loose. Once you have it broke free, if you're using the wrench, you can take that off and then you can just lift it off the cooktop. Then we can use a small flathead screwdriver to help take the wires off the igniter. We got the orange one that goes to the igniter. And you want to make sure you don't let them drop all the way down in there. And then we got the yellow one that comes to the bracket. Once you have both wires off, we're going to secure them with a clothespin so they don't fall down inside the oven cavity. Here's the old gas stove top burner next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. Looks like they changed the size of the terminal on the igniter, so we have to change the connector on the wiring harness, and we'll do that next. To change out the terminal on the wiring harness, we're just going to pull the orange wire out and grab our wire cutters and cut this small terminal off. Once you have it cut off, we can strip some of the wire off. We're just going to go in about a quarter of an inch or so. Once you have it stripped, we're going to take a quarter inch connector and crimp it on. Once you have the connector secure, we can put the burner on. Just gonna attach the wires. All you have to do is carefully push them on so you get good connection on both of them. Before you put the new burner in, if you had a gasket that went around this area, you want to make sure you clean off any residue from it and just throw it away. They got rid of those gaskets years ago and they no longer include them. So just throw it away. You're not gonna use it. To put the burner in, we're just going to set it down and you want to line up these three tabs so they go here and so that your igniter is at 9 o'clock. Once you have it in place, you can just turn it clockwise and there's actually a locking tab. You can only go so far. Once you have it in place, we can put the grate on. All you have to do is set it onto the cooktop. Once you have it in place, you can plug the range back in take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.